Hey guys, welcome back to another video about Ironwood and Weirdwood. I know that I did a video on one of the best uh, spots that you can get, but uh, somehow yesterday on live stream uh, on YouTube, I'm now streaming on YouTube uh, pretty much every day or five days a week. Uh, me and my viewer Christo Giordano actually were going to farm Ironwood again, but all the regular spots were taken. Therefore, we decided to check the New World Resources map, which is a really great way to find all the resources in New World. I will link the page down below. And we found uh, two ways of uh, finding new spots. One is to go to the shrines, for instance, Deadman Shrine in Monarch's Bluff, because uh, there is a grouping of ironwood trees right next to it. Uh, you collect them and go back, but this is completely contested all the time. The other one was in Ebon Scale, which is the next to the Air Shrine. You go to Lover's Shrine. You have ironwood in this location and you also have uh, three really big trees down here. But then we noticed something else. And it's kind of funny because as the name calls it, it's brightwood. And you teleport down to Alchemist Shrine and the first grouping of ironwood is down here. So let's jump down there and check it out. Hey, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing since I've noticed there is only 10% of you guys subscribed to the channel. Each subscription is much, much appreciated. Thank you. Okay guys, I'm sorry I lost all my recordings on the route somehow. I will be adding in uh, miscellaneous recordings though. So let's use the New World uh, resources map. So we start from the shrine as at the beginning of the video we go uh, southeast and we straight away we have one two three four five six iron trees there then from this position we'll go north and we have another six iron trees uh, the one in the middle is a really large one uh, then onwards we're gonna travel to this one now towards this one you will grab all this wire fiber. There is three nodes of wire fiber, right? Uh, towards the next, you will be grabbing the shock spire. Why? Because shock spire gives you air modes. Air modes you can trade into air quintessences. Now air quintessences and soul quintessences plus azot water equals powerful proficiency booster. Trust me, that is much needed when you're harvesting anything. You will grab this big iron witch tree, unfortunately it's just one. Then we will turn south. Now on the way south, you will be grabbing gold vein. All these gold veins, because gold veins equal gold. And uh, refi refining gold veins into Platinum bars is a lot better way to craft your, your calcumin goods instead of using star metal. Although on this path, as you can see, you can already see star metal. This is a fishing spot. If this route, because we are going to be doing circular route, is occupied by other players, you can go and fish. Meanwhile, this insanely good this there is no small trees here these are all huge spot if it's been chopped down you go back north you start fishing or collecting the silkweed now remember if you're gonna fish this hot spot this hot spot has sturgeons sturgeons equals what you guessed it equals fish row my server on Bari, fish row goes at the moment for 180 gold. You want that gold. We all want that gold. <laughs> then, you from this ironwood trees, you will turn southwestish, 
and you will enter the cave. Now the cave, as you can see, is just another gold mine. We have star metal veins, we have weirdwood, gold veins, also silver, because I... Actually, I'll show you. There we go, we got silver veins as well. All that you're missing is platinum. Platinum? Wait, is it platinum in there as well? Yeah, there is one. There is one platinum somewhere here. I know that it popped up. Anyways, and then from here, you will continue back to the first location. And now just to show you the end result of me farming uh, the numbers. I'll show you the numbers from now on. So switching back to my video. Okay, I just checked the prices uh, on the trading post. Now all together, all the materials is 2.2k at my um, server in 40 minutes, which is not the ideal. I would, I, I would, I'll be honest, it's not the ideal because uh, 2.2k is not a huge profit for 40 minutes. But uh, if we take into account that if you're doing sort of an Iron Man, like I am this is actually great because the if you're like i am on bari and bari is a highly populated server and for me to go to eden groove and i was making the video on ironwood uh, farming there already uh, this complete route here is contested almost all the time so Eden Groove uh, falls out of the menu. In Restless Shore, there is a nice grouping of Ironwood trees here, but you will have to wait for them to respawn. This is a spot where almost nobody goes. And in Shattered Mountains, you have a couple of them around the Mountaineer Mountain Rise outpost in this direction. So there are there, 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 and up here. But this is not as viable route as the one that I showed you, or as promising as Eden Grove, or even more promising like the other video, which is the Iridanus. But you have to be incredibly lucky for it to be uncontested so guys if you like the video i hope I was, you will join me in the next one as well uh, what i do is guides tips and tricks all the time uh, mostly uh, pv content i thank you very much for viewing this video again and i'll see you in the next one